CA Workload Automation DE, formerly D-Series, simplifies cross-enterprise workload automation through a single platform that is easy to use, install, and manage. Its object-oriented architecture reduces and simplifies scheduling definitions, allowing operations or application development teams to easily define schedules and calendars once and reuse them many times. During this demonstration, you will learn how to configure and schedule a report event. You can schedule reports using events to save the output on the server for viewing later. When defining a report event, you can specify a list of users to notify by email when the report execution is complete. You can also grant permission to a list of users to view the report output. We will start by opening the services perspective. Now, we will right-click in the listing and select New Report Event from the pop-up menu. The Properties tab of the New Report view opens. Now, we will complete the required fields. The Event Prefix defines a prefix for the event with a limit of up to 32 characters. Note that from Desktop Client Preferences, one can set up the default prefix as well. We will type in Skedmaster. The event name defines the name of the event with a limit of up to 128 characters. Note, the prefix and descriptive name uniquely identify the event on the system where it resides. We will type in Summary Jobs. Execution User, an optional field, specifies the execution user for the report event. The execution user can always view and delete the output of a report. This field defaults to the name of the user defining the event. Note that the execution user requires the report X and report design permissions to execute the report triggered by the event. Priority specifies the event priority as an integer from 1, lowest priority, through 10, highest priority. When multiple events are eligible for execution at the same time, the server triggers the events in descending priority order. The priority field defaults to 5. We will leave the default for this demonstration. Note that one can set up the default priority for an event from Preferences. The Specify Calendar section allows you to specify up to two calendars that are used to schedule the event. This defaults to the System Calendar, which we will select now. Report specifies the name of the report to run when the event triggers. The drop-down list displays the reports defined on the server. We will select Summary Jobs Run. Next, we will move on to Schedule the Report by selecting the Schedule tab. Note that this is optional. Here, we will click Add Schedule and then specify our scheduling criteria. If you are familiar with the scheduling terms, you can enter your scheduling criteria into the When field. If not, you can build and test your scheduling criteria by clicking on the ellipses. We will do that now. We can now enter our scheduling criteria into this window. We'll choose the Free Format Statement option and type in Every 2 Minutes. Now, we'll test how our criteria will function. Here we see that our event will run every 2 minutes. We will now click OK to accept our criteria. The When field is now populated with our scheduling criteria. Next, we will select the Results Options tab to specify the options for our report. Note that this step is optional. Now, we will grant permission to a list of users to view the report output. To do so, we will click Add in the Users Allowed to Read the Report section. A row is added to the table. Now, we will specify the name of the user in the Name field. We will type in Skedmaster. 
We will then click off of the text entry row to add the name. At this point, you can add additional users. We will not add additional users at this time. Next, we will specify a list of email addresses to notify when the report execution is complete. To do so, we will click the Add button in the Email Addresses to be Notified section. We will then specify the email address in the Name field. We will click off of the text entry row to add the email address. At this point, you can add additional email addresses if necessary. We will only add one. Now, we will select the Attach Report checkbox to attach the report results in PDF format to the email notifications. Finally, we will click the Save icon to the right of the New Report tab to save our inputs. The server triggers the event and runs the report at the scheduled dates and times. Now, let's close the Summary Jobs tab and go to the Report section of the Services Perspective to run a sample report. We'll run the Summary Jobs Run report by double-clicking on it. A pop-up with a progress bar opens. A pop-up with report generation options is displayed. We will go with the default option for month and year, and then we will select the Show Details table checkbox. Now, we'll select State as an option on which reports are run. Now, we'll click OK. A report is now generated. If the report takes time, a pop-up will appear indicating its progress. When the report generation is complete, it appears with a chart and a table of contents. Here we see a Jobs by Day chart, and scrolling down, we see data on every day. From here, you can export the data, export the report, and print the report. We will export the report now. A pop-up appears with PDF options. We will leave the defaults and click OK. Here we can choose to open or save the report. We will open it now. We will not review the PDF at this time. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will reopen the desktop client. We will now close the Summary tab and return to the Reports perspective. Our Reports window is still open. We will now expand the Summary Jobs Run Report project to see the generated results. Finally, we will double-click on the Report Results file to open the report chart. The report chart opens by default to Jobs by Day. We will now close the generated report. We now see the report result selected page. As the schedule is every two minutes, a report result file will get created every two minutes. An email notification with a PDF report will also be sent to the email addresses configured. This concludes our demonstration on how to schedule a report event.